Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video we are going to talk about protein sequencing and here is a problem, you have to determine the amino acid sequence of the polypeptide, you perform enzyme cleavage of your polypeptide with trypsin which yields 3 fragments with the following sequence in the order of the lens. So here is the 3 fragments, these 3 fragments can be arranged in 6 different combinations but you can narrow it down to 2, how come? What are the 2 variants of the sequence of your polypeptide? Take a look at the picture of this enzyme. This enzyme produced by pancreas in proenzyme form which we call trypsinogen and then moves in the small intestine where it's going to be activated and in its active form it's called trypsin. Now let's return to our problem, we are told that these 3 fragments can produce 6 different combinations. How come? Take a look. Let's say that uh, we have 3 places how we can arrange these 3 fragments. So first place, second place and third place. When we have 3 fragments we can put any this fragment in the first place. So we can say we can put uh, any of these 3 fragments and if we choose for example this one in order to fill second place we have only 2 left. So let's put 2 here and if we use for example this fragment to fill this position then we will have only 1 left to fill the last position. So we put 1 here and if we multiply all these numbers we are going to get 6 combinations. And here is a list of these 6 combinations possible and according to our problem we can narrow down them to only 2 variants out of these 6 just knowing this information that is given in our problem. What else you need to know about this enzyme in order to solve this problem? Trypsin was discovered in 1876 by Wilhelm Kuchner who is German physiologist and was named from the ancient Greek word for rubbing since it was first isolated by rubbing the pancreas with glycerin. Trypsin cuts peptide chains mainly at the carboxyl side of the amino acids lysine or arginine. If you didn't see my video about how to memorize one letter abbreviation of amino acids, here is a table which specifies amino acids and the 3 letter abbreviation and 1 letter abbreviations. According to this table 1 letter abbreviation for arginine is going to be R and not A as you see, A specifies alanine and 1 letter abbreviation for lysine is going to be K and not L as some of you may think which specifies leucine. Now let's take a better look at our sequences in order to get a sequence which consists of 3 fragments we have to cut it in 2 places not in 3 places. If we'll cut our sequence in 3 places we are going to get 4 fragments. So now we know that our enzyme trypsin cut the sequence in 2 places and we know that it cuts at the C terminus of the lysine and arginine. So how we get this fragment here? Was it cut here at the C terminus? So here we have N terminus and C terminus. This fragment also has N terminus and C terminus and this fragment N terminus and C terminus. And if we have single sequence this is going to be N terminus and C terminus of such a sequence. N terminus specifies amino end of the polypeptide chain and C terminus specifies carboxylic acid end of the polypeptide chain. So N terminus stands for the beginning of the polypeptide chain and C terminus stands for the last amino acid in such polypeptide chain. And just looking at this first variant we can say that this sequence have been cut here at the C terminus of the amino acid which is lysine, K specify lysine and it also have been cut at this place R specify 
arginine at the C terminus. And how we got this fragment? We just have it as leftover when we cut single sequence in two places and we are going to get three fragments, two would be result of the cutting and the last one would be also result of these cuts and would be left over. So it's going to be the last fragment. That means that from this six variant we can choose these two variants because they end with this sequence which is result of the left over and these two fragments would be result of the cutting of polypeptide chain by trypsin at the C terminus of the lysine and arginine. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.